Kingston 25. Click subscribe. That's right. Kingston 25. Hello there, how are you going? Welcome to Sydney, Australia. Now some of you keen viewers may remember a few weeks ago, eight weeks ago to be exact, I made a video which I filmed from this very balcony, my own balcony in fact, of the Australian Idol Grand Final Fireworks. The next day YouTube took it down and they sent me a notice saying that Fremantle Media had said there was a copyright infringement. Now I wondered if I should dispute it or not. I knew I had done nothing wrong. Most YouTubers were behind me and said, yes, dispute it. So I disputed it. And eventually they asked me for what my claims were. I had to send them more information. There was a bit of toing and froing with YouTube. But today, eight weeks later, YouTube have put my video back up. They wrote to Fremantle Media. Fremantle Media, it seems, didn't have a case to answer. And I've been vindicated. A few YouTubers, understandably, tried to find reasons why I have may have broken copyright rules, everything from the area being copyrighted because the Sydney Harbour Foreshore Authority owns it, to people saying YouTube employ robots to look for words, etc. And they were all very interesting points. I didn't feel they all added up because I knew I hadn't broken copyright. My own view was if anything, somebody at Fremantle or elsewhere had thought that perhaps I'd recorded it directly off the television. But I knew I'd done nothing wrong. A couple of YouTubers, well actually a few YouTubers said, don't bother writing to YouTube, they'll never listen to you. You'll never win. Just let it go. Let it go. I could have listened to them, but in my past, I've had people say the same thing. Don't take any action, you won't get anywhere. I have taken action in the past, and actually I have got somewhere. And this is one of those occasions, so all those YouTube pessimists, those people who like to bash YouTube, who say that YouTube do bugger all, well, this is one of those examples that is a success story, where although it took eight weeks, they did listen, and they did put the video back up. So you see, if you do nothing, if you don't protest, you'll get nowhere, nothing will happen. At least if you protest and make a point, that protest has been recorded by somebody somewhere and you have a chance of getting something done. This was one of those times where the big boys up in YouTube and Google did listen and there has been success. So if you feel you've been wronged, it is a principle and you have every right to fight that wrong. But some things that I found quite interesting about the copyright claim were I didn't get a single strike against my name, which I thought was unusual, and no reason for the copyright infringement was given what exactly I suppose to have been done, which is a bit silly because it means I don't know what I'm doing, so therefore I might make the same mistake again. I have been vindicated though. I knew I'd done nothing wrong. I was right all along. And I've got to say thanks YouTube for putting it back up, backing down and reinstating because Fremantle or whoever complained had no case to answer. So yes, I have been vindicated. If you feel you've been wronged, if you've had a video taken down and you know you were in the right as I did, don't have that attitude that a few pessimists have that YouTube won't listen. Just let it go. Get on with it. Fight it. Protest. Go through the channels. And yes, there is a chance that you'll get it back up. Exhibit A. I had success so can you. There are times that YouTube may be the big boys, but there are times that they do listen. Thanks YouTube, and I want to thank all those YouTubers who did give me their support, who contacted Fremantle, who contacted YouTube, and backed me up. To those pessimists I say, if I'd followed your advice, I wouldn't be in the situation I am. Thanks for watching, take care, and good luck. Kingston 25. Click subscribe. Kingsley's turn 25.